Chief Minister Conrad Sangma on Wednesday, March 16, 2022, expressed optimism that scientific mining of coal would hopefully begin sometime later this year. Replying to a query asked by Congress legislator Meryl Bourne CM in the Assembly, Sangma said that in the best case scenario, the mining would begin in the state this year after getting approval from multiple agencies. The Chief Minister said the start of scientific mining operation is exhaustive and the state has already begun the process, stating that the initial period would be slow but once the process is streamlined, then everything would fall in place and the state would be able to generate revenue from mining as before. Sangma said, based on the Supreme Court order, a standard operating procedure has been framed with rules of the Mines and Mineral Development and Regulation Act 1957 and other Central Act Incorporated. He said at present, 17 licenses have been approved by the Center for Prospecting Operation in the state. After the prospecting, geological survey would be done and the report would be sent to the coal ministry for approval. In order to raise state's own tax revenue through scientific coal mining, state government, after the Honorable Supreme Court order and judgment dated 3rd of July 2019, allowing coal mining in the state in compliance of MMDR Act 1957 and Chapter 5 of Mineral Concession Rules 1960, has notified standard operating procedure for grant of prospecting license or mining, license, mining lease for sustainable and scientific coal mining in the state, dated on 5th of March 2021, along with an office, office memorandum for applying to the Director of Mineral Resources to undertake prospecting operation for coal under the provisions of second proviso to subsection 1 of the Section 4 of the MMDR Act 1957. At present, there are 17 applicants who have submitted their application for grant of prospecting license for coal and all have received approval of the central government and they are now in the exploration stage for generating geological report before obtaining mining leases. Uh, sir, it's uh, not possible to give a number because uh, it all depends on how many licenses uh, will be given and, uh, and also how much of uh, extraction will take place. Uh, so those numbers are arbitrary. I would not be giving the right figure if I were to even give an estimate. But uh, just to give an idea to the uh, House that uh, in terms of the royalty uh, or the revenue that's collected, so there are four parts to it. The first part is the royalty, which is uh, 675 rupees per metric ton. Then there's a cess of 300 rupees per metric ton. Then there's a district mineral fund, which is 10% of the royalty. And then there's a national mineral exploration trust, and that's 2% of the royalty. So uh, this amount, and mostly for the state, of course, it's the first two, which is 975, multiplied by the number of metric tons that will be uh, extracted and, and, uh, and sold. Uh, it will depend on that, sir. So I just wanted to give that number. but. Obviously, we hope, sir, that we will be able to get maximum uh, revenue uh, in the days to come. Uh, we, our people have suffered. Uh, the state government has suffered in terms of revenue. And obviously, in terms of livelihood, this has affected a lot of people. So we are hopeful, sir, that uh, now with these steps that have been taken, the Supreme Court's order that came out in 2019, and the process that is happening as we speak, we are hopeful, sir, that uh, we will be able to give the mining lease uh, to at least some of these uh, individuals and we hope that the scientific mining will start very shortly and uh, and then the revenue flow will come in so so it's uh, i'm i'm not able to give a reply sir because i really don't know how many will get when they will get and and how many will apply in the future and uh, obviously what kind of extraction will take place but as i said uh, roughly in terms of per metric ton i've given the figures so we just have to multiply that with the extraction